you want to learn how to shatter box like this or even better, learn how to throw great head punches, body punches, combination punches, learn how to do some footwork drills like pivots and even phase attacks. Well, on this video, I'm going to show you all of that as well as tell you about when I was working alongside of Vander Holyfield, the four times heavyweight world champion, and telling you what we were working on when we were shadow boxing as well. And I've made this video super easy for you to navigate through with a bar at the bottom. So just go to whatever section you want to work on and then start working on that. This can be your shadow boxing Bible. You should definitely email yourself this video for the next time you go to the gym and then you can start working on whatever you want to work on. Also, we've got the time stamp here as well. We've got footwork, head punches, body punches, defensive moves, advanced moves, and even a little bonus tip on for you there as well. So go to wherever you want to work on right now and check it out. So why do we shadow box? Well, for a few reasons. It's a great extension of your warm-up. We can work on good form and technique. We can work on game plans if we are training for a fight. And also, it can be a great workout if, you want, if you're shadow boxing fast and hard. It can be a great workout. So let's quickly talk about each one of them aspects of the shadow boxing. First one is warm up. Now, when I say warm up, I don't mean come to the gym and start shadow boxing straight away because that will be your warm up because it will not. The shadow boxing is a great extension of your warm up. You should come to the gym, do your boxing specific warm up. I've done a full video on the warm up. Click the link below and check that one out after this. And then when we shadow box after that, it's a great extension, warming up the specific muscles that you're going to use for your boxing session and starting off slow and then building up. The last thing you want to do is is come to the gym, start shadow boxing really fast because that's a, a chance you're going to get injured. You want to slowly increase the pace and the volume of your shadow boxing throughout the rounds that you're going to be doing. Now moving on, working on technique and bad habits. This is probably the best reason that you should be shadow boxing, to work on them bad habits, to get out of them bad habits. Now let's say you have got a bad habit of dropping your non-punching hand and now what you can do, you can focus a round of shadow boxing on just bringing that non-punching hand back to the face. My big bad habit was when I was training for the Olympics was dropping my lead hand. I would throw a jab and bring it back down. So I would focus round upon round upon round of bringing that lead hand back to my face. Now when I'm thinking about my bad habits, that's how I'm going to get out of them. And I see this often on this channel. You know, when you've got a bad habit, you need to think about it and then try and improve it. Think about it, try and improve it. Think about it, try and improve it until you get to the point of improving it without having to think about it. And that's what we can use shadow boxing for, for working on your good form and technique. Moving on is fighter specific. If you're fighting a southpaw, fighting a taller opponent, a shorter opponent, now you can visualize your opponent in front of you when you're doing your shadow boxing rounds. I used to do this all the time, just getting used to your opponent in front of you. Obviously your opponent's not there, but you can think about him. Think about if he's coming in and he's got a great overhand right. You keep that left hand up every time you throw that jab. Whatever it may be, it's great to use it for visualization and it help you get better at your boxing and give you a better chance of preparing for fights. Now the last reason it is great is for a workout. You've done your warm up. You've eased it into your shadow boxing. You can then you know pick it up, and if your shadow boxing. <laughs> really hard and moving your feet and throwing them really fast punches, guess what's going to happen? Your heart rate's going to raise. You're going to get a great workout from your shadow boxing. If you go to the gym, do a great warm up and then focus on doing something like four two minute rounds, four three minute rounds of hard, high intensity shadow boxing, that right there is a great workout in itself. Now you don't even need any equipment for that. So you can really try that and give it a go. I'm sure you will love it. Moving on to the warning. Yes, you've seen it down there, warning. Maybe think of what warning about shadow boxing. Now shadow boxing can be dangerous. Not dangerous in a way where you're going to get hurt, but dangerous in a way where you're going to develop really bad habits. And I see this all the time. People will be shadow boxing in the gym and they will be developing bad habits because they've got no one in front of them. Often there isn't a coach there telling them what to do. So they'll be there, bam, 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 bam. Shadow boxing like this with the hands down, bam. What that's going to do is develop bad habits. Now you need to get out of that. You need to focus on good form, good technique all of the time when you're shadow boxing. As soon as you start switching off and watching what your friend's doing over there in the gym, or you know, thinking about what I'm gonna do for tonight for, for me dinner, and that's when you're gonna get worse at boxing. We don't wanna get worse, we wanna get better. So you shadow boxing to your advantage and never, never shadow box with bad form and technique. Now the other warning I wanna give you, I kinda mentioned it earlier on, it is shadow boxing when you're cold. If you shadow box when you're cold and you're not warmed up, good chance that you can get injured. Their muscles need a good warm up. You need to 
ease into it or do a great warm up before you get into the shadow boxing. Super important that you don't start shadow boxing when you're cold. Okay, so moving on to footwork, getting into this footwork and it's very important that you work on footwork in shadow boxing your feet is the most important thing in boxing because without these guys right here you can't throw these guys right here now we want to be able to sink your punches and your feet to be able to improve our boxing i'm going to talk about that in a second but first i just want to talk about a few common mistakes that i see when people are shadow boxing because there's no one in front of them or because they might not have a coach there they'll start you know ba, ba, ba. tell me you've seen this before We've all seen this before in the gym. I've used to even sometimes do this, where you be on, a, on the shadow boxing, bah, 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 step now, bringing your feet together. Stop doing that. We can't do that anymore. Please don't do that anymore because it's going to develop them bad habits. You want to keep your feet apart all the time. Now, when you're keeping your feet apart all the time, that keeps you in a position to throw punches whenever you want. I can't throw a punch from here, but I can throw a punch from here because my feet support. So focus on keeping your feet apart, using short steps. Unless you're trying to rush away, if you've got an opponent coming at you, you know, you can really bring your feet together, but we're not, we're shadow boxing, so we're here. Keeping your feet apart, always prepared to throw them punches. And you know, you wanna be moving around on your toes. Huge common mistake I see is this, people be moving forward, heel toe. Heel toe. Now the reason why we do this, and it's a common mistake, is because when I'm walking around, look at that. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. That's what we do. We walk in like this. And now we don't want to take that into the boxing. We want to be moving on our toe, on our toes. Because the reason is when we're doing this, let's just see I'm moving forward. Someone throws a punch. I want to move back. Woo, I can push off me front foot. But if I'm here and someone comes on, I can't really push off my heel. You want to be on them toes on them toes. Now when you're out of range, you can plant your feet, be a little bit more on the flat footed here, but then when you're moving, moving on your toes. Getting into good habits with this. Now if you see, I've got my feet apart, I'm moving on my toes, I'm ready to punch any time I want. Ba, 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 ba. Then moving on to the next thing is when you are moving to your left and your right. If I'm moving to my left, left foot first. Moving to my right, right foot first. Even if you're a southpaw, you still want to do the same thing. Moving left, left foot first. Moving right, right foot first. I don't want to move to my left, my right foot, and come crossed my feet like this. Again, this is a terrible position to be in. So keeping your feet apart all the time, never crossing your feet, moving around on the balls of your feet here. Now, once you start getting used to doing this, you know, you want to be always focusing on staying relaxed. I'm relaxed, I'm relaxed. And you want to be able to build your conditioning up to be able to do this all day long. Now, I don't literally mean all day long, but I mean, you know, build your conditioning up so this becomes really easy. You know, if you're new to boxing, if you're a real beginner, moving around like that can take a lot of energy, can tire you out. But we want to keep doing that to build the conditioning. Like I said, once these guys down here are good, everything else will follow. This is like the foundations of your building. If you think of a skyscraper, you know, the foundations need to be solid for the rest of us to be solid. So let's stay solid. Before you work on anything else, get these right and it will really help you. So now we've mastered side to side. Now we can master working around in a circle, moving around in a circle. You know, you can even get a cone or put a boxing glove in front of you here this is a sanable cactus leather vegan boxing glove here. So I'm putting that down. Now I'm moving around. I'm moving around. Now, when I'm moving around a cone like this, I want to think like that's my opponent there. Or that's a heavy bag there. So I never really want to come in this position because now I'm too square on. I want to stay here. So I'm moving around, moving around the cone, moving around the, the glove, moving around the glove. Again, moving left, left foot first, moving right, right foot first. And if you notice, I'm never crossing the feet. I'm always going to keep that line in between the feet. As you can see on the screen there, the line's in between the feet, even when I'm moving around like this. And then what you can do from there, you can even advance that even more. So I'm getting two of these sanable vegan cactus leather gloves and putting them on the floor like that. And now what I can do, I can move around them. So the, in the line, I'm just going to move up, move around, keeping the feet apart, coming on back. Now the key is with this, you know, it's keeping face and forward. Now another thing I want to talk about here is when I'm doing this, is I'm stepping, I'm not dragging the feet. I see it often where people will drag the feet and slide the feet. If you can hear that noise, I'd never want to be making that noise. I'm stepping because if I do this, it's making me even slower. I don't want to be slow, I want to be fast. So I'm here, 
feet apart, moving around. Great, great little drill there, focusing on facing forward. You know, and then from there we can, you know, we can do it one step further where I pull. This is just a regular leather glove. So now I've got the triangle there, the one at the bottom. So now I'm going to start at the bottom, coming around, moving around the glove, keep facing forward, like the figure eight, around, 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 and you get it there. You can use the cones to work on different drills and you know get better at your footwork which we want to do. Before I show you the punches, one thing I want to remind you of, no matter what punch you're throwing, you always want to exhale with every single punch that you throw. No matter what it is, we always exhale. Now, a few things when we are throwing punches with shadow boxing, it's easy to get into bad habits. We want to use the shadow boxing to create good habits with your punches. One thing you know that you shouldn't be doing that I see often is people will throw the short punches here, like this. They'll be shadow boxing and they'll be in the mirror and they'll have the hood up and they'll think they're looking like Mike Tyson and they'll be like this. But it's BS, it's BS. When you're throwing straight punches, you know, whether, whether it's in the, on the heavy bags, whether it's in shadow boxing, on mitts, in the ring, you want to fully extend them punches. Bah, bah. So when you are throwing the punches, fully extend them. Now let's talk about the different punches that we're going to throw in shadow boxing. Uh, the most basic, the first punch is the jab. You know, we want to be in this boxing stance. Now if you're brand new to boxing, when you're throwing this, this jab, you want to just keep in your boxing stance with your line in between your feet, and you want to bring it from your face all the way out, all the way back, slight turn your hip. Like that. From this side. Now we can advance that by a little step. When we step, we're going to get more weight and more power into the punch. But if you've never done it before, don't even think about the step. Stand in space bah, bah, and throw it from there. Now, with the, with the jab and the cross, you know, we want to, like I said, we want to fully extend them. With the, with the cross, the number two, whether you're right-handed, it's your right hand. If you're left-handed, you're a southpaw, it's your left hand. So with this one, it comes from your face all the way out, all the way back. Now, it's important when you're throwing the cross, that you turn your hips and you stay relaxed and you fully extend, get the arms straight in front of you. You never want to be punching across to the side. And a great tip I want to give uh, if you are ever shadow boxing in front of a mirror, which you should do because it's great because you can see your bad habits is if you're in front of a mirror, just think there's a mirror in front of me there, I can throw straight punches and I want to aim for my head. And if I'm throwing body punches, I want to aim for my body. But here, bam, bam, I want to throw a punch for my head. If I ever throw a punch and I see it goes across, like you can see there, no, that's wrong. It's incorrect. Now, that means the powers went over this way, where I want the power to come down here. So when you're throwing that jab, that cross, bah, bah, you always want to throw them straight. We can put the one and the two together. Again, let's start with the basics in spot where we're going to throw a bah, bah, one, two. I'm not stepping. I'm not moving. I'm not doing any of that fancy stuff. I'm just throwing the one and then the two. Now, when you're throwing a one, two, you want to throw the one. As the one's coming back to the face, the two comes out. We never want to throw a one, two like that, which is I see with beginners often where I take and they're bouncing. No, we want to try and make it flow. Ba, 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 ba. So when the one's coming back to the face, the two is coming out. Ba, 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 ba. Just like this. So now to make that a little bit more advanced, we can step with it. So it will be a, ba, ba. if you've seen what I've done there, step, step. Step, step, and I've done a full video showing you some drills that you can use with an agility ladder at stepping and punching. Basically, you want to step and punch at the same time. Ba, 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 ba. So you see that? I'm stepping and punching at the same time. So when my foot lands, the punch lands. Ba. It's going back. Ba. Forwards. Ba, ba, ba. You can do it going backwards. Ba, 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 ba. So you can try it out, but first get the basics right and then you can start using the more advanced stuff with the movements. Now let's move on to the most awkward punch in boxing, which is the hook with the lead hand. So when we're throwing the hook with the lead hand in shadow boxing, you always want to try and throw it off the one-two or off the slip. If I'm standing in this position here, the boxing stance, and I throw the hook, you know, I mean, I can do it a little bit, but I've got all this experience in it and it's a little bit easier, but it's still not good form. I'm still not getting power in it. What I want to do, I want to get myself in the position to throw the perfect hook. And that position is this. So I'm in this position with the weight on me from foot. Now I can do that one of two ways. One, I can throw the cross. Now I'm in this position to come back with the hook. Number two, I can just slip. Bah, bah. 
and come back with it. So I've slipped and then punched. <laughs> now he's a big debate in boxing. When we throw on the hook, do we have our thumb up or do we have it towards us like this? And now the correct answer to this question is, it depends what you feel like. I would always coach it up like this for beginners because it's less rotation than turning it around like this. You know, when you've got to throw a hook and you've slipped and you've got to turn, this is more rotation. I would keep the, the thumb up and I want you to get your elbow in a 90 degree angle. So you're gonna throw a one, two hook and you wanna finish there. So the hand just comes past the face. If we, if we throw the hook, like I see often where people throw, shh, 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 this comes around here, that means the power's gone over there. We want the power to come through the target right there. And not around, not, not around there, through the target right there. So again, I'm gonna throw that one, two hook. And there, one, two hook. Exhaling, staying relaxed. Important thing with this is the rotation with the feet. One, two hook. Now let's move on to some more advanced punches, which is the uppercuts. Now, throwing a lead uppercut is very hard, very difficult to do, but it can be done. How do we throw that lead uppercut? You can throw it in the middle of a combination, so I might throw a one, two, then a lead uppercut, then another two, bah, 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 like that. That's putting them together, that's putting four punches together, and we'll talk about combination punches in a little bit, but bam, 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 bam or you can actually lead off with the uppercut. Now, when you are leading off with a lead uppercut, we want to kind of step with it. Bah, like there. Bah, I've stepped and I've threw it. Bah, like that. So whatever you prefer, you can practice that one. Now, moving on to the re-uppercut, which is my preferred uppercut from the face. Coming up, throwing like this. You know, from here. The common mistake I see is this. Boom, coming down, then up. We don't want to do that. We don't want to telegraph it. Another common mistake is this. Well, you'll punch across there, or you might punch up and punch yourself in the face, like we see in the Tyson Fury did on, uh, on, in one of his fights. You don't want to make that mistake right there. You want to punch up and punch through, just there. Now, them are all the basic punches that you want to work on when you are shadow boxing. I'm going to show you in the combinations when we double, triple, doing four, five, six, seven punch combinations in a little bit, but them are the basic single punches and how to throw them. Now, moving on to body punches. How do we throw body punches in shadow boxing? Well, we would throw them exactly we would throw them if we were on a heavy bag. Again, if you're in front of a mirror here, you want to be aiming for your body. So if you throw the hook to the body, you want to slip, throw that rear hook, or we can throw the cross, then the hook to the body. Then we can throw the straight punch to the body. We can throw the jab, bah, we can dip and throw it, or you can step with it, bah, like this. Or you can throw the cross to the body where we can turn, rotate, and throw it in. <laughs> Exhale, and when you're doing it, stay in relaxed. So when we are throwing this to the body, we want to really turn into it. We want to bend our knees and drop our levels as we throw it, keeping your chin down, looking up through your eyebrows, <laughs> and exhaling there. <laughs> if you are aiming for this punch at me, you want to be aiming in the midsection right here, or the solar plex right there. So Non-punching hand by my face. <laughs> And that's how you throw that punch correctly. We can advance it by stepping out and throwing it, taking your head off that line. I've done a full video on the perfect way to throw this cross to the body. If you want to watch that, the links are all below. But we step in and we throw it as well. And then we can work on putting the head and body punch together, where it might be a jab to the head, cross to the body. It could be a one, two to the head, hook to the body. You no, know, we can really mix it up with shadow boxing. And like I keep saying, this is the best place to practice these punches within your shadow boxing round. Now moving on to defense. How can you defend a punch that's not coming out here? It might sound a little bit stupid, but we always want to be working on our defense in shadow boxing. On the heavy bag, we work on our defense. On the mitts, in sparring, we always want to be mastering the defense. Because after all, the name of the game is to hit and not be hit. If we don't work on our defense, we're going to get hit. So shadow boxing is a great place to get into good habits and work on working on different defensive moves. And now it might feel super awkward in shadow boxing working on defense, but you should always be doing it. Now, here are some different defensive moves that you can be working on. So let's just see, for example, I've got that line in between my feet that we should always have when we're in our boxing stance. This is the line where punches will be coming out at our head. Right, so someone is in front of us throwing them punches. How can we defend them punches? So we can slip, we can roll, we can lean back, we can block. So work out one thing at a time. Now, first off, I'm gonna work on a slip. So I'm gonna be here, then I'm gonna slip. So you see there, I took my head off that scent line. I'll throw a jab, then I'll slip. 
I'll throw a jab and I'll slip the other way. When I'm doing these defensive moves, it's important that you do visualize that punch coming at you. You know, I don't want to be jabbing and just slipping down here and looking down there because look at this position. You know, I want to be slipping as if it was a punch. This punch to the glove is about 68 inches there. That's all I need to do. Jab, slip, jab, slip. One, two, slip. So I'm there, I'm slipping. And then you, we can advance this by counter punching what we're going to talk about in a little bit. So, but that's the first one. Jab, head off the line, slip in there. Then the next defensive move is a roll. So we roll in. Now, when you're rolling, you're rolling out the weight of a hook. So if I'm rolling underneath the hook, I'm going to go down, round and up. If you see that, it'll just go straight past my head. There. Now, it's hard to do a roll if you're just in a static position like this, it's kind of like when you're throwing the hook to the body or the hook, you need to be in the forward position. So if I'm practicing a roll, I would always throw a one, two, then I would roll. Because I've done the one, two, the weight's on the front foot, I'm going to roll away to the back foot. So in shadow boxing, we can work on this. Now that's rolling out the way of the left hook. Now we can roll out the way of the, left, the right hook. We can move to our left. But when you're rolling to your left or your, or your lead side, you know, you should finish with a lead hand. So I would throw one, two, lead hook, and then I would roll. Ba, ba, ba. Yes, and, and the reason why I'm telling you to do these punches in, be in between the defensive move is because that's what would happen. We would throw the punches, he's going to counter, then we're going to defend. But as well, we get put in the perfect position when we throw these punches. I'm in the perfect position to, th you know, to, to roll. If I'm here, hard to roll. If I'm here, the weight's on the back foot, easy to roll. So we can work on that as well in shadow boxing where we're moving around, bah, bah, rolling, bah, 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 rolling. Then the other defensive move, we've got the block where the hands are just going to come up. So I throw a jab, bah, bah, bah. Now this is going to feel awkward because what am I blocking? No one's throwing a punch at us, what am I blocking? But you're getting into these good habits. So always getting into good habits, thinking and visualizing punches coming at you. So throw them punches, hands come up, you're blocking, you're blocking, you might be here, you might block, block, come back with punches of your own. We can work on the lean back in shadow boxing where it might be a jab, lean back. I've done a full video on the lean back. You should definitely watch that one as well. So it's a jab, lean back. Ba, 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 ba. Lean them back out the way of punches is something else we can do in shadow boxing. I'm going to put all of this stuff together in the combo section in a little bit. So just want to tell you, you should definitely be working on your defense all times, no matter where you are in your boxing journey. Okay, now we're working on some advanced stuff. Whoa, whoa, what advanced stuff do you want to work on? This is a, this is a shadow boxing tutorial for beginners. But yeah, you're going to work on this beginner stuff. And then when you get better at the beginner stuff, you can work on this advanced stuff. So what sort of advanced stuff are we going to work on? Well, the first thing we're going to work on is pivoting. We want to learn how to do this. We're here, we're here. Bah. Yeah, and then you might think, oh, that, that's easy. But guess what? It's not. I've seen so many people struggle with this. Now, a pivot is where the front foot is going to stay where it is. The back foot's going to be the one that moves around. Now, when we are doing pivots, and again, I've done full videos on learning how to pivot. But we want to do it in shadow boxing. You want to always think about your footwork form. Because if I throw like a jab or, or a one-two, then I pivot. What I see often is this. People will go into the wrong stance. And they'll cross the feet. When you are pivoting, you want to land in the perfect stance. Back with that line in between your feet. So work on that. You know, you can be here, you can be shadow boxing. Bah, 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 pivoting. I'm here, the line's still in between my feet. And it just looks a little bit more advanced. And then once you get advanced and learning this pivot without the punches, then we can add in the pivot hook. Oh my goodness, this is one of the most advanced things that you can probably learn in boxing, is the pivot hook. Because now what we're doing, we're pivoting, we're throwing that lead hook at the same time, and as the back foot lands, the front punch lands, and we're staying in that good form and technique, getting power into the punch, we're breathing, all of these different things in the pivot hook. I'm going to show you it right now. So I'm here, ba ba ba. Pivot hook. See, I'm back in this boxing stance. And when I'm throwing this pivot hook in shadow box, I want to visualize like a shorter opponent. Might be like a little Mike Tyson coming forward. You know, flying forward. I've hit him. I've hit him. He's coming forward. I'll throw a one, two, pivot hook. Boom. Pivot hook. I'm here. He's went through the ropes that way. One of my favorite punches in boxing. Here's a little clip of me doing it right here. Yes, and as you've seen there, that pivot hook is something that I used to practice all the time in shadow boxing to be able to perfect it to take it to the ring. Now, moving on to another advanced move, which is the fierce attacks. And this is why Great Britain have got one of the best amateur boxing teams in the world because of their fierce attacks. Now, you might be thinking, what the hell is a fierce attack? A fierce attack is, let's see if I'm here. Right? And I'm my opponent's there, he's out of range. I've stepped in, boom, boom, I've hit him with a one, two. He's countering. Now rather than me leaning back or blocking, I'm gonna step out 
Then I'm gonna step back in with another one too. So it's in, out, in, out, a phase attack. Now when you're doing this, you can also get some of these sanable vegan cactus leather gloves <laughs> and put them down. And now look at this. For example, if you visualize, you can do this drill with tape on the ground, lines on the ground. My opponent's there. I'm out of range. We're out of range from each other. Now I'm in range. Now I'm out of range. And that's kind of what we're doing with the phase attack. So I'm here. I'm going to step in with the one, two, ba -ba, and back out. Right? That's kind of one phase. I'm in and out. But we want to do two phases, three phases, four phases. And this is a killer for your legs and your cardio. I'm just going to show you a two phase now. So I'm here. Ba -ba, out. Ba -ba, out. Now the key is with this is we're not stepping in. Ba -ba, and then keeping the back foot where it is. We need to take both feet in, both feet out. Both feet in, both feet out with them punches again. Ba -ba, out. Ba -ba, out. Now when you can do this with speed, yeah, it's a, it's a great it's a great workout, it's a killer. You can do two phases, three phases, four phase attacks, but that right there will really help improve your footwork and your stamina as well. Now moving on to the next advanced move, which is fainting. Yes, throwing fake punches, getting your opponent to do what you want him to do, so you can do what you want to do. And now you can, should definitely be working on this in shadow boxing, so I'm here, I'm fainting, see that? I'm here, I'm fainting. I'm pretending that I'm gonna throw that punch, so my opponent will believe it. Your opponent, Tony, there's no one in front of you. You're boxing, you're shadow boxing. What are you talking about? There's no one there. Yeah, but we want to keep practicing this. We want to practice it as if there is someone in front of us. So we're moving, getting into these good habits. Here, here. Oh, I'm faint. See that? I'm here, here. Faint. Faint. Ba -ba. Then throw the punches. Faint. Ba -ba. Now I'm starting to look good. Now I'm starting to look like a professional, right? I'm sure you agree. Rather than just here, boom, boom. Now I'm here. Ba -ba -ba. Yes. Working on them faints. Fainting all the time, fainting before you throw the punches. Now we can work on rounds of shadow boxing where that's what we all focus on. Our focus is just on a faint before everything. And I'm gonna show you some more of that stuff when we do the combinations after this. But now one more thing I want to show you what you can do in shadow boxing to look like I was looking at the beginning of this video. Yes, looking like a professional boxer. And that is moving your head before and after every single thing you throw. What, Tony? Moving my head before and after everything. Yes, before and after everything you throw. I'm here, I'm moving before Bam. and after. But don't worry, I'm going to get tired if I, if I keep doing all of this movement. You're not going to get tired. You're not going to get tired because you're going to stay relaxed. But even when I'm relaxed, it's still going to be really hard. No, it's not because when you stay relaxed, you're here, you're breathing, you're not using much, much more energy than you would without moving. If you start holding your breath in, you're moving like this, yes, you'll get tired. But we're going to focus on staying relaxed. So I'm here. I'm relaxed. Now look at this. I can do this all day long. I'm a dad, three kids, got a dad bod. But this is easy for me because, you know, I'm staying relaxed. So I'm here, moving, moving, moving. Boom, job, move. Yes, ba, ba, ba. Now I look like a professional, right? I'm sure you agree. Let me know in the comments below if I look like a professional or do I look like a dad. <laughs> so I'm here, moving. Ba, ba, ba. Moving, 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 moving. And this will really take your shadow boxing to a whole new level when you're doing this. Now I want you to think about everything that we've worked on before. We've worked on the footwork, the basic punches, the body punches. We've worked on the advanced stuff with the pivots, the feints, the phases, the head moving. When you put all of that stuff together, and then you look like a pro boxer when you are doing this, no matter what level you're at. But again, like I said at the very beginning, you need to start off slow. Now, before I add in all of the fancy stuff, the advanced stuff, let's just talk about some basic combinations. The most big, basic combination of boxing is the ba -ba, the one-two. Now, we're going to advance that. We're going to put a hook on the end, so it's going to be a one-two hook. Now, that can be the combination that you're going to be working on at first when you're just getting used to throwing combinations. <laughs> Remember, we're breathing all the time. And then we can move in between, like you've seen there. So you throw the punches, move your feet. Ba -ba -ba. Then move around, move around, move around. I'm here, I'm here. Ba -ba -ba. Move around, move around. And then we can throw even more combinations where we can throw four straights and a hook. One, two, three, four, hook. Yeah, I'm nice and, I'm nice and relaxed here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, let's add in some body shots. Let's do a one, two, hook to the body. Ba -ba -ba. We're there. Ba -ba -ba. We're there. Now let's throw a one, two, hook to the body, hook to the head too. Ba -ba 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 -ba. A longer combination. Ba, 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 ba. Now we can just add on to that. We've worked on all of the punches in the earlier parts of this video. Now it's putting them together. Now I want you to think about this. For basics and for beginners, when you throw, let's just say, a one, two, we're in the position to throw a lead hand. 
whatever punch that might be. It could be a one, two, lead up a cut. It could be a one, two, hook the body. One, two, hook the head. If we are finished on with the, with the left hand, so let's just say I do a one, two, one, I can throw any punch with my right hand. It might be a right uppercut, a right hook the head, a right hook the body. It could be a straight hand to the body. So it could do a one, two, one, two to the body. Whatever hand you finish with, you can throw any other punch with your other hand. So think about that when you're doing this. But you don't have to go complicated. Stick with the basics. We've learned all of the punches. Now we can put them together. Now, can you throw two punches with the same ha hand? Absolutely. The basic one is the jab, jab. Bah, bah. And then you can throw anything with this hand after. So it could be a jab, jab, uppercut. And then throw anything with this hand after. Jab, jab, uppercut, hook. And this is how you build combinations with your shadow boxing. Uh, but there's a, there's a few rules of thumb. It's much harder to throw a double backhand, a right hand if you're orthodox fighter, left hand if you're southpaw fighter, like a bah, bah, bah. That, that's, that's way more advanced than something I wouldn't really recommend at first. But you can throw doubles with this hand. It could be a one, two, hook, hook. Just make sure you load it back up after you've thrown it. So if it's a one, two, hook body, load it back up, hook body, if I want to double it up. So yeah, you can definitely do that and, and throw two punches, three punches with, with the same hand, mainly the lead hand. This hand gets a little bit awkward and a, a little bit messy. And I've worked with people where I've seen them on the bags and they'll be like, bah, bah. You know, bah, bah, never throw them punches unless you're like a good pro and it's like, bah, bah, bah. see that? I can throw it there. Well, it's there. I'll bring it back there. But again, basic stuff. I wouldn't do that. Subscribe to this channel and get more advanced stuff. If you want this advanced stuff, which I'm sure you do after this, you should check out my other videos on the channel. But yeah, first off, let's, let's, let's avoid throwing the double backhand. Now let's do some nice, fun, advanced combinations. So remember, I want to be moving my head before and after, throwing them feints as well, and then throwing combinations. And what does that look like? So I'm here, I'm moving the head, I'm feinting. See, just here, moving the head and feinting on its own, look like a pro, right? Look, here, moving the head, feinting. I'm not even throwing punches, I'm here, feinting. Staying relaxed. And then we can add the combinations on there. So let's do a, a jab, jab, cross. So I'm here, I'm moving. Feeling, bah, bah, bah. moving after, remember, before and after everything. So I'm here, I'm moving, I'm moving. Feeling, bah, 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 bah. Bah, 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 bah. Bah, 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 bah. Feeling, moving, moving, feeling, bah, bah, bah. Pivot out, yes, you see it? And as you can see, we can just put everything together. The movement, the feints, the combinations, the pivots, the footwork. And as you're seeing there, you're putting it all together. Now you're starting to look like an advanced boxer. This is a beginner video, but now once you've done all this, you start to look advanced. You start to look good. Look like you know what you're doing, which you probably do by now. If you've watched this much of the video, you really do. And what I see all the time on this channel, it's not practice makes perfect, because you could be practicing like this. No, it is perfect practice makes perfect. We always want to be practicing for perfection all the time when it comes to boxing. So now I want to finish this video off with a great bonus tip to help you relax and to help you get more comfortable with shadow boxing. Now to get comfortable, we have to go through some uncomfortable situations and this might be uncomfortable for you to start with. But this is what I give just about everyone that comes to work with me. I have them doing this because it helps them relax. It helps them understand relaxation, breathing and shadow boxing a lot better. And what that is, starting off your round of shadow boxing boxing with your hands down moving your feet like this now the reason why I want you to do this is because now you're getting used to relaxation so you're getting used to moving around with your arms down but Tony my hands are down I get punched in the face hang on a minute mate because I'm going to tell you the reasons why we are doing this with the hands are down we're getting used to relaxation because I want you not to box like this I want you to box with your hands up but I want you to Feel what it feels like because we can all relax with our hands down and then from there let's see if we do 30 seconds with our hands down. The next 30 seconds around I want the hands up. Same relaxation, same movement as well but we're not throwing any punches. Just working on that total relaxation. Now from there we want to add into the punches. Ba, ba. Right, same relaxation. Ba, 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 ba. Now from there we want to add in one more thing which is the head moving. Ba, 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 ba. So now I'm still relaxed, I'll move my head, and now I'm looking exactly like I was looking at the beginning of the video. Click here next to build your stamina in boxing. So all that chatter boxing stuff you've just done, you need to be able to build your stamina so you can do more of that. So click here and check out this video next.